and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of plate code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes okay so today's problem of the day is reverse first k elements of q which is an easy level problem and i also think the same so what we have to do let's find out what will be given into this problem and what we have to do so we will be given a q q means a data structure q and it will be of integer type and we will be given one integer k as well okay so what we have to do we have to reverse the first k elements of the q so if you will see this three so it will be like one two three first three elements we have to reverse so the new our answer q should be three two one and then after that four five which is uh, the same so first reverse first k elements of q and then return the new q so i think uh, the problem statement also explains the same as well so if here you will see four we have to reverse all four elements so it the new q will be one two three four okay all right i think the approach is pretty clear so basically there will can be a lot of uh, approaches for it so, but we can we can only use the standard operations on the queue okay we can only uh, use the standard operations on queue such as in queue dq size front uh, that's it and we have to solve this in big of k time comp uh, space and big of n time complexity okay all right so as usual i've written something for you now let's jump on to the note section for it okay so let's find out what approach we are going to solve this problem so first of all uh, we this is let's suppose our queue okay so what in the first step i will do i will push i will take a stack data structure and push the first k elements to the stack so first k elements means first three elements here it will push it into the stack it will be something like one two three and we know that stack is leaf for last in first out okay so after that the remaining queue will be something like uh, in the remaining queue only four and five will be left okay i think we are good till this point after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to pop these elements from the stack and push into the queue again so as we know uh, in queue we can only push from the back so the new queue will be four five three two one okay and it's fine so here we can see that i have reversed the first k elements but the order is still different okay so the k elements are reversed but it's not same so now what i will do again i will run a loop for n minus k elements n minus k means n is the size of the queue n minus k elements and again i will pop these elements and push again so n minus k means two here so i will remove these two elements from the queue and again push into the queue so it will be something like three two one now four will be removed and pushed here so it will be four and after that five will be removed and pushed in for five so this is our answer q and it's the required one so here if you will see i have only used this data structure and only k elements are inserted here so the space complexity will be k and time complexity is because of n okay all right so that's it that is what i have written in the steps as well so if you haven't got the approach you can read through these steps it's the same which i have explained okay so all right i think the approach will be clear and i would ask everyone i would request everyone to please subscribe the channel if you got the approach Okay, all right, so now let's jump onto the code section and write the code for it. Okay, all right, so as I've told, we will be using the stack data structure. So, stack integer, let's name it ht equal to new stack. Okay, and uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all remove first k elements from the queue and put it into the stack. So, very simple for int i equal to 0, i is less than k i plus plus, and ht dot push q dot pole okay so that's it in this way we are going to do now what i told i will again pop the scale elements from the stack and push it to the back of the queue okay so now again while not and i uh, i'm taking this like uh, everyone knows what stack what is q and the basic operations of it if you don't please uh, you can write gfg documentation and there are several others so you can read those so not st dot is empty i'm going to again add so q dot add st dot pop okay all right great 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 going guys till this point so now uh, what i'm going to do in the last i'm going to pop these n minus k elements again and remove it from the queue okay remove them from the queue from the starting of the queue and put it to the back of the queue. okay all right so let's name it as int i equal to zero and uh, i will run this loop till n uh, is less so i is less than q dot size minus kk okay and i think i've already explained this why we will be doing this q dot add q dot add what q dot remove so it just means we will be removing them from the front and i will be adding them at the back and after that i will be doing something like i plus plus and at last i will return the queue again okay so that was it let's try to run this and i hope it got accepted in the first try only okay it's running let's submit it meanwhile if you have loved the solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel and uh, please share your feedbacks into the comment that whether i should do the live coding or i should write the code first and then explain okay come on please do okay yeah so it's uh, accepted and i was also solving it after the first time so yeah i got a geek bit and i'm gonna see you again tomorrow till then keep on coding and bye